Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tara too. I'm really glad you're here. Today's date is Saturday, March 11th, 2023. And there are lots of things happening in our world. And there was one that was just on my heart tonight to speak to you about because people are worried about it. And that is our financial system. We've talked in the past, and it's time to address it again, that our fiat money system is in its dying stages. It's going to be eventually after some death throes <laughs> and hopefully calm acceptance on the part of those of us that uh, have done our homework. It's going to be replaced by an asset-backed currency system that's going to be much better. Okay, but as I said, these death throes, <laughs> they are not pleasant and it's easy to pick up on the panic of people that were heavily invested in the fiat system and maybe aren't as aware of the fact that there is a quantum financial system paired with the fiat system and is ready to, it's, everything's mirrored and ready to roll once the uh, death throes are done. So personally, when I'm hearing that there are banks that are insolvent or that the stock market is crashing, I'm kind of glad to hear it. And hey, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. My money is in a bank that I know is insolvent at the moment. I'm not taking it out. I have some cash on hand and um, I'm not a big investor. I, I don't have bonds. I didn't do the currency thing where I need to, a special appointment to get things revalued. I'm just going on faith that there's a marrying of the system. And after some blips, it's going to be a, uh, it's going to be in good shape. So, and I think I speak for the majority of us that that would be the case. We're not bondholders. We didn't speculate in currencies, you know, that kind of thing. We're just uh, average Americans that uh, have an income hopefully and, and live within our means and have some checking and savings accounts that we worry about. And so I thought, let's look tonight at the financial system, okay? And we're gonna do a read about it in a minute, but let me show you a short compilation I did tonight. As always, it'll be available on my Facebook page if you'd like to review it further. And if not, just uh, listen as I quickly go over it. I'm going to share the screen now and show you what I came up with. Okay. Well, first of all, I just thought this was funny. <laughs> the S&P 500 is in a downward trend. This is March 9th, March 10th. I think Monday, it's going to be even more of this decline, unless they manage one more time to do a short full string of it. Uh, but the downward trend is absolutely heading our way. Okay, now I have included a, uh, a 30 second, um, and there were many that had this up. This is just a reminder of when Mr. T was saying that if 46 got into office, there would be a stock market crash, okay? And that it would, possibly exceed that of 1929. Then um, I included a uh, very mainstream thing about the uh, Silicon Valley Bank, how it has failed in the last couple of days. And the second bank, California Bank, has also been seized um, because of its insolvency. And so the FDIC is taking over things. So without a doubt, we have banks failing and a stock market that's in decline. And as I said, to me, those are positive signs. Okay. And like I said too, my money's where my mouth is on this, but let's see what the universe has to say. I'd like the universe to give us some insights and information about our current financial system change, how the process of change is going, and insights and information about financial dealings in this present window of time on this timeline for people like you and I. Let's see what the cards have to say. Okay, insights and information about the uh, current of people in our financial markets and uh, insights and information about uh, how to uh, 
be mindful about them and moving forward. Now watch, I'll get information like, you stupid woman, you should have got all your money out while you could. <laughs> Let's see what it has to say though. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Cups, The Lovers, very reassuring card so far, guys. Six of Cups, the Empress, and the Five of Wands. Okay, as always, I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing from the cards, what intuitively that's uh, inspiring in me, and then I'll talk about what elements of the cards led me to those conclusions. Okay, the... Um, First of all, yes, our financial system is in flux. It is, though, being um, cared for and paired with the, uh, as I said, the quantum financial system, okay? There's nothing alarming in these cards, nothing at all that would alarm me, okay? Or make me say, oh, darn, I should have got my money out of that bank while well, I could have. Okay, so, and then we're being just reassured, reassured, reassured that even though there's going to be some doomsayers, some people trying to, and we'll talk about that too, trying to foster panic, trying to create some chaos and upheaval, okay? Those of you that are going to be doing like I did, have a little cash on hand in case there's a few days of blip in our money system, we're going to be fine, okay? Now let's talk about that in a little more detail. Our question was indicated by the Knight of Wands. One of my white hat cards, okay, so right even there, it's reassuring. Wands are a fast energy, so we are quickly coming to the time when we will have that stock market crash. We will have more banks failing. We will have during that failure until the new system is publicly in place, there will be some interruptions in our cash flow access. That's why it's good to have a little cash on hand, okay? Possibly. There's been enough um, proactive actions in the background that um, even if we can't get our cash, maybe our cards will still work. That's going to be situational depending on the institution. Um, but again, have some cash on hand. And I'm saying why I'm not worried is because it's being clarified by the Queen of Pentacles and she is a queen of optimism and very much one of uh, security. So our money's secure, absolutely, it's secure. No matter what we're hearing, you know, and you know the MSM is in the deep state's pockets and they're going to, uh, they're going to do a lot of black pilling and dooming about this. We need to just rise above it and look beyond it. I say that because in the recent past, we had a page of cups. Page of cups is a card that usually talks about a pleasant surprise, okay, a gift. We have a gift and a pleasant surprise headed our way. It's been set up. That's recent past, so it's already set up. Now we have the lover's card, which tells me that there's a pairing of the financial system. But not only that, but the, uh, the lover's card, when it's not talking about romance, can often be talking about the challenges of making choices that affect others or dealing with choices made by others. Okay? So, but the main thing I'm getting from this is the fact the pairing here, that they see that they're ready to uh, join hands, work together, and keep that changeover for those regular people like you and I, who aren't into heavy duty bonds and things like that, you know, don't have currencies that we need to exchange that we're hoping to get rich on, okay? It's ready to be paired. Looking ahead, more reassurance with the cups. Cups are a motion card. This is one of uh, reconciliation. So again, the two systems are paired. They're ready to be reconciled and rolled out. Reassuring us on the other side, we have the Empress. I love how the last few reads, our feminine energy is really showing up. She is a major arcana card, okay? And when a major arcana shows up, like with the lovers here and with the Empress, those events that they are speaking about really can't be altered. So at this point, there's nothing can stop what is coming to our financial system, okay? The fiat system will continue to fail. 
we will be a little jealous of those people that are already in the BRICS um, asset back system, which is over half the planet. Okay, because they're not going to go through the upheaval that we are, but it's paired, it's ready to go, it's ready to be reconciled and to roll out. Now, this is our less important insight card. It's just reminding us that this change is going to be, there's going to be some opposition to it. Even now in the, the 11th hour, the deep state and those that were part of our banking slave masters are going to be going, aren't going to be going down without a fight. And since a lot of times those same people had appetites we can't even fathom, had agendas that we couldn't conscience, okay? As they go down, they want to take as much of our positive energy with them as they can. And maybe even some people that feel like it's the end of things having this happen. It's the end of a system, but it's a chance for a new and better one to take, to be rolling out. Let's get a few more insights from the cards, okay? <laughs> the emperor shows up, our third major arcana, our absolute top Mr. T card, White Hat Alliance card, just the whole shebang right there. Okay, it's under control. We have our Nine of Cups showing up. That means that's always my 90% satisfaction card. Okay, 90% of us are going to be very happy with this. I think ultimately everybody will, but 90% uh, of us are going to be really happy as we get through this process. We have the Queen of Swords showing up, another strong feminine energy. And she usually, uh, she's very objective in intelligence and clear thinking and reminding us to stay clear thinking. And when people are shouting, oh no, it's worse than 1929. Well, good, I'm glad, let's let it fail. And finally, we have our four of swords here, okay? That means there's some background information we might not have. It's also often, again, what we gotta, it can mean just the same as the uh, page of cups, hidden blessings. So there's good things on the way. So let's recap. I asked the cards for insights and information about the upheaval in our financial system and how we should be navigating through all this. And I'm seeing nothing that didn't already intuitively speak to my heart about that, that yes, there is upheaval. There is going to be, again, there's going to be more banks that fail. There's going to be a crash of our stock market. We are going to be told by the MSM, it's terrible, it's awful, it's the end of all things. And it may be the end of the deep state cabal stranglehold on our money system and the use of it for such horrible things as they've used them for in the past. That's good for us, regular, normal humans. In the meantime, like I said, I was putting my money where my mouth is. I'm leaving it in my bank and I'm just going on faith that uh, when the crash is done, the system will be mirrored and life will go on as usual, if not actually better than usual. And uh, so folks, please remember, don't allow your emotions to be manipulated. Don't allow yourself to wallow in fear because fear is a very useless emotion for regular humans, but it's one that feeds energy that we don't even want in this plane of existence. So, it can be hard when you're still living paycheck to paycheck and you're still on a tight budget. It can be hard to be calm about money when it's something that's never been that available to you. Believe me, I know. I've spent years working two, three jobs, trying to uh, put myself through college, raise my family. You know, I mean, I know. I, I, I know. I've worked 60 hour weeks for years at a time. I know what it's like to struggle. But I also know what it's like to say, I refuse to live in a fear-filled life. So that's the recap. Yes, our financial system is in flux. Yes, we're going to hear more banks fail. We're going to see more of a decline in the stock market. It may not be in the next day or two, but it is going to happen. And then the new system rolls out. We're gonna be amazed at how much better it is. And if we allowed ourselves to feel fear and anxiety and uh, maybe even learn to get our money out of the bank, 
Well, I feel a little foolish if we did that. Okay. So again, I'm cautiously optimistic that we are really close to this happening. Really close. <clears throat> and if you can afford to, have a little cash on hand. Just like I've said, if you can afford to, have a few days worth of food and water, things like that available to you. Okay. Do what you can afford to do, but do it within reason because I don't see us having to get ready to uh, build civilization over from the ground up. We just may have a few blips as we dust off the porch and get rid of those fiat people again and move on to where we needed to be all along. Realizing our potential as humans, being free for the first time in generations and having hidden technologies and remedies available to us that we are only hoping for and possibly can't even dream of at this point. So uh, chin up, guys. Keep that smile on. Keep the faith. Okay? Stay positive. A little prepared helps too, you know. And uh, we got this. We really do. We have it. And you know who doesn't? The deep state and the fiat money system. And that's the way it should be. We need to be gone. Until next time, I send you love and light and all things bright. Goodbye.